Welcome to another moment of Tiki coming to you from the Lagoon of Mystery, my home Tiki bar in Central Texas. Don't get too comfortable again, that's right. We're back on the road trip from this summer. This time we're stopping at the legendary Con Tiki in Tucson, Arizona. Now you may remember the previous episode where we were waiting around to get into the Contiki and found uh, that fantastic Whitco piece. Well, this is what happens afterwards. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Here I am in Tucson at the famed Contiki restaurant. Uh, we're gonna go in there, have some dinner, have some drinks and experience one of the oldest Tiki bars here in the continental US that's been around since the original golden age of tiki. Come on. To enter the Con Tiki, one must cross a wooden bridge to reach the front door. I love this. It's a prime example of the idea of transition so prevalent in mid-century Polynesian restaurant design. The Con Tiki was established in 1963 and named after Thor Herendahl's Con Tiki Expedition. It is not affiliated with Stephen Crane's tiki chain of the same name. The main dining room is large, open, and impressively decorated. There is a surprising amount of tapa cloth in various patterns adorning the walls and ceiling. The centerpiece of the dining room is a large stone water feature with embedded giant clamshells. It immediately draws the eye, with fountains of water streaming from one clamshell to the next. Milan Guanco was a Filipino woodcarver in the 1950s and 60s who gained a reputation as one of the great tiki carvers of the mid-century. He was based out of Southern California, but created tikis for restaurants and bars all over the world. He oversaw the Mexican carvers who made the tikis for Ren Clark's Polynesian village in Fort Worth. Today, the Con Tiki has the largest collection of Guanco's surviving tikis in the world. There are more than a dozen here, but the most impressive is a brightly painted fellow who greets visitors as they enter the dining room. There are lots of float lamps hanging from the ceiling here and private booths to be found along the side of the dining room. Back when the Con Tiki first opened, the owners kept piranhas from the Amazon in the aquarium. Today, brightly colored cichlids swim in the aquarium. That's probably safer for everyone. In the entryway, a tapa-covered outrigger hangs from the ceiling and more guanco tikis flank the doors. What I wouldn't give to have one of these in the Lagoon of Mystery Lisa and I were pretty hungry by this point, so we ordered artichoke dip to start us off. I have to say, it was nicely creamy with a rich umami flavor. For drinks, Lisa went with the Mai Tai, and I ordered the Tahitian Punch. I'd love to report that they were perfect, but to be honest, both were very sweet. Usually I prefer to have my dessert after dinner, not before. Our entrees arrived soon after. Lisa ordered coconut shrimp and I chose ahe poke. Wow! As disappointing as the cocktails were, our dinner selections were outstanding. Robust with complex layered flavors and prepared perfectly, absolutely delicious. The Con Tiki had an entire wing of side dining areas closed off that I just had to explore. Timber bamboo lashed together gave the area a deep mid-century vibe. There was so much giant bamboo, thatch, and tapa, tapa, tapa everywhere, too much to take in. There was an impressive giant betta fish made of metal mounted to the wall, which was striking, and another sculpt of maybe a butterfly fish as well. Then there was more tapa and more guanco tikis. I have to say, and I know this is going to sound strange, but I almost felt like I was in the Mai Kai in Fort Lauderdale. Now, I know the Mai Kai is 10 times bigger and packed to the gills with patrons sipping perfect cocktails and watching fire shows and native dancers, but I'm talking about the bones of the Kantiki. This is the same style, a similar design and aesthetic. They're of the same era. Stepping into the Kantiki is like entering a time capsule spanning six decades. 
This place is a treasure. I don't say that lightly. Yet another dining room had this magnificent stained glass scene of crabs and fish and seaweed decorating the far wall. Contiki had a bunch of these weird bottle and coconut vertical room divider thingies hanging in various places. I'm not sure what they are, but I like them. Look at the patina on this Lahala matting. When the Contiki opened in the 1960s, everyone smoked everywhere. You can literally see it on the building materials. There's also a nice patio space here with even more guanco tikis, the biggest of which has seen better days. The patio is not so much for the immersive tiki atmosphere during daylight hours, but once the sun goes down, I suspect it'd be a great place to hang out, especially in the cooler months. All right, so can I get your name? Can I get your name? Yeah, Danny. Daniel, how long have you been working at Contiki? Four years. Four years. What, what attracted you to Contiki? Just an opportunity from all, this guy over here. No, just an opportunity from a friend. He told me they needed help, so I came by and fell in love with Tiki ever since. So, so what do you think about working at one of the uh, holdovers from the golden age of Tiki? Contiki is one of the old guards. One of probably like five or six that are left now. Yeah. Um, I had no idea when I first started, but you know, after going to a bunch, just basically in the southwest, you know, false idol, all that good stuff, uh, just kind of seeing like this place is, is legit, and you know, we hold the old school tiki, not as much as, you know, we used to, but we're getting back to basics, trying to get back to original cocktail stuff like that, and it's, you know, it's a great place to work. Right, I, I, your, your food program, I mean, this is, I mean, there's a lot of tiki bars, there's a lot of tiki bars, but there aren't that many restaurants. Trader Vicks, and I feel like that's pretty much it, there might be a few new ones, but yeah, mostly it's just cocktails, but I believe like three years ago we got a new executive chef and just comes up with great stuff and try and keep it updated every couple of years. But I gotta say, our dinner tonight was outstanding. What'd you guys have? Uh, I had uh, the poke bowl, All right. and my wife had coconut shrimp. Nice. We had the uh, uh, appetizer of the um, uh, artichoke dip. The artichoke dip's good. Uh, uh, I've had a mai tai, I had the uh, uh, punch, and so yeah, it was just, you know. Next time, try the painkiller. Our painkiller's pain a little different. We do it with coconut milk. Oh. Instead of just like a, like a coconut rum or right. syrup, we do it with the coconut milk, so it's, it's rich, it's excellent. Um, Overcrew, brain nephew in there. Really comes out. Oh, that sounds fantastic! What what what, nice. what what other signature signature cocktails do y'all have here? Um, so there's that. Our Contiki Mai Tai is yeah. you know a signature recipe of our own. Uh, the Rum Punch is one of our own. I think our Nui Nui is an original recipe from us as well. Um, they're all based off classic cocktails and everything, but with the little twist that we put on them. I'm trying to think. That's, those are like the big hitters for me at least, like original recipes from us. And I don't even know, I'm trying to think. Our barrel of rum, that's original recipe for us. Um, our Hawaii Five-O, that's one of my favorites. Really sweet, but tasty cocktail, nice dessert. Fantastic. Could name a few of them. All right, well thank y'all for having thank us. It was excellent. It. Absolutely, thanks for checking it out. The Con Tiki makes me happy. I'm happy I got to visit, I'm happy they served us a fantastic dinner, and I'm happy the history of the place enveloped me and swept me up. The cocktails weren't great, but they're working on improving the bar program, so that's a good sign. Another thing to consider in this era of Tiki Renaissance is that the Con Tiki is a restaurant first, bar second. That means underaged visitors are welcome until 9 p.m., unlike most modern Tiki bars that are 21 and up only. 
Take your kids and get them hooked on Tiki early. The Con Tiki is a gem. If you ever have the opportunity to visit, I recommend you do so. They just don't make them like this anymore. Until next time, from the Lagoon of Mystery, Aloha.